for the first time in more than eight years. Big time boxing returns to Scotland. Tonight, in Glasgow's brand new dinner and boxing club at the Albany Hotel, Jim Watt of Glasgow, the 24-year-old British lightweight champion, defends his title against the man who only a few months ago was lightweight champion of the world, Edinburgh's Ken Buchanan. Buchanan, 27, is tonight in front of some 650 dinner-jacketed members and guests of the St Andrews Sporting Club, attempting to win back the British title that once belonged to him. And if he does win tonight, the Lonsdale belt becomes Buchanan's own property, and he'll give it to his two-year-old son, Mark. Well, in all truth, the Lonsdale belt is about all that Buchanan can reasonably expect to take out of this fight, because he's appearing here tonight in this new club for the ridiculously small fee of about two and a half thousand pounds. And when you think that only a few months ago he was defending his World Lightweight Championship in America and earning 48,000 pounds, you realize what a drop he's taking in salary in order to come tonight to try to win back his old British title. Jim Watt is a Southpaw, and tonight he makes his first defense of the British title. And now he must live up to all the pre-fight boasting that's been done by his manager, Jim Murray, who's been quoted as saying that not only is Buchanan overrated, but that he's an easy man to put on the floor. Well, the talking stops right now, and the fighting starts, and Jim Watt has got to live up to those pre-fight words. So the ex-world champion bids to get back his old title. Buchanan from the right, wearing his famous tartan shorts. Watt, the southpaw, leading with his right. The British champion held the title for eight months. And now really has a job on his hands here to hold it against the previous holder, Buchanan. Plenty of action in the opening seconds. And Buchanan, in the last few years, used to meeting men of much more distinction than Jim Watt. And seems to be bursting with confidence, Buchanan. Looking fierce and determined, with several days' bristly growth of beard on his chin. And already brought some red marks to the face of the blonde British lightweight champion, Watt, from Glasgow. Watt getting about £4,000 for this, and Buchanan about £2,500. First championship fight, first British championship fight in Scotland for more than eight years. And this uh, Albany Hotel restaurant home now of the new St Andrews Sporting Club, packed with about 650 members and guests. And the atmosphere absolutely electric for this title fight. What notoriously a slow starter to his fights. But he's a man who can really hit. And the question is, can he get it in against Buchanan? And if he does get it in, what will happen then? Will Buchanan be able to take it? Or will, as most people expect, Buchanan put all the pressure on and steam home to an inside-the-distance victory? Buchanan coming in with his head right down, poking it into Watt's face. And Watt certainly not overawed in this first round, and he's let a lot of punches go and he's got a lot of them through so that's a really good start to this British lightweight championship fight and it really is long overdue that Scotland had a big fight here's the former world champion lost the title in June last year to the tough Panamanian fighter Roberto Duran in Madison Square Garden
George Smith of Edinburgh, the referee, having to call for the timekeeper to ring the bell to start the second round. And the way these two are going at it, there doesn't seem to be any question at all that we should get to 15 rounds. I don't think there's any possibility if they keep this sort of action up. One or the other must go. Watt came in three ounces under the limit of nine stone nine and he's a pound and one ounce heavier than Buchanan. Buchanan held this title from January 68 until he gave it up in November 71. He made one defence of the title. If he wins tonight, it'll be his third win in the British Lightweight Championship and that'll make the Lonsdale belt his own property. This is a really rough, hard fight, believe me. And Watt is cut on the right eye. The first sign of real injury, and it's Watt who suffered. Right eye gone, that's an old injury. In fact, the only two fights Watt's ever lost were both lost because of injury to that eye, the right eye. So it's the old bugbear again, and he's got real trouble there, Watt. And Buchanan has seen his chance, and he's going for it. That's a bad cut. <laughs> well, they brought up Danny Holland from London, and this is Holland in the ring now with uh, Jim Watt. Danny Holland, of course, the man who for so many years treated the cuts of Henry Cooper. And they called in Danny Holland for just this sort of emergency and Holland going to work on that right eye of the champion. Opened up in the second round, and that really is bad luck for Watt, but it was bound to happen if he let Buchanan get near it at all with punches or with his head. Only two fights Watt's lost in 17 as a pro, and he lost both those fights because of this eye. Well, Holland is one of the best cut men in the business, and if anybody can get him through then Danny Holland can so the champion now very much at bay and his title now only precariously held because of that injury Already there's a smear of blood underneath the eye where it's beginning to come open. And Buchanan, you'll notice now, bringing out the left hand almost exclusively, working away to that side of the face where Jim Watt is injured. Watt now needs the big punch. He's got a punch, and he needs to produce it right now. And you've got to hand it to Watt. He really has gone for Buchanan right from the start here. Absolutely undaunted, not overawed at all. But whether he can stand up to Buchanan's style of fighting and the class of Buchanan is another matter. See, that's World Championship form there from Buchanan. He put about six punches in there, one after the other, once the opportunity presented itself. All those hard fights against good men in the United States, all that experience now being brought to bear on this fleeting figure in front of him. 
who's trying to defend the British title. The eye holding up pretty well. Elbow from what? And what's still popping those punches home to the head of Buchanan, but Buchanan's taken them well. Danny Holland uh, did a pretty fair job on that eye because uh, it bled very slightly at the start of the round and then held up. But it uh, looks to me like a wide and rather deep cut. So three rounds now completed. And apart from the cut, Watt doing pretty well against Buchanan. Taking quite a few punches but handed out enough himself too to give his corner hope that... Uh, he might be able to take some of the steam out of Buchanan. got a really brilliant left hand when he likes to use it and that's just the weapon to go to work on that side of Watt's face I once saw Buchanan in Madison Square Garden New York absolutely dominate a Canadian called Donato Paduano for 10 rounds his left hand was never out of the man's face and the Americans loved him for it and that left hand has now become the most potent weapon available in this particular fight stay through these early rounds and take the best Buchanan can give him and stay strong then we've got a very interesting fight on our hands because what tends to uh, warm up as he goes along still getting those pot shot right hands into Buchanan's head Pouring them on inside there. It's a good fight. And Buchanan's having to work really hard here. of punches from the ex-world champion and what stood up to them well well the wisdom of bringing Danny Holland up for Jim Watt uh, can be seen now because he got cut in the second and here we are in the fifth and that eye is holding up so far
Buchanan won this title in 68 from Maurice Cullen. He knocked out Cullen in the 11th round, and then he defended it once against Brian Hudson. He knocked out Hudson in the fifth, and here we are in the fifth. Is history going to repeat itself? I wouldn't think so. The way Watt's standing up to all this, I think Buchanan's going to have to fight for every point. It's a good left hand from Watt. Another man really wanting to give ground, notice. Watch your head, Stuart Smith referee. taking the initiative in this round. This is a really hard punching lightweight championship fight. And there's not been a dull moment in it so far. come here tonight to fight the fight of his life and that's just what he's doing he's pushed over Buchanan dragging everything out here trying to get on top of what and what won't have it Keeps coming back. And these two are testing each other absolutely to the limit. And it really is, I think, going to be a question, providing this eye stands up for, for what, I think this is going to be a question tonight of which of these cracks first under the pressure, because the pressure they're putting on each other is pretty tremendous. Danny Holland's done his usual miracles with that eye. Danny's next job will be in Las Vegas with Joe Bugner against Muhammad Ali. have gone up the spout already people who thought that Buchanan would sweep what aside in a matter of two or three rounds have been proved wrong Here we are in the sixth and no sign of uh, cracking yet from what in fact you begin to wonder whether it might not go the other way in the end Inside. 
a good left again from Watt. Filling his way with the right hand and then swinging that left. He's done that several times to Ken. No exaggeration to say that Buchanan is fighting for his professional life here because if he loses this one, uh, then he can say goodbye to further world title chances for a very long time to come, perhaps for good. Nose is bleeding now, Buchanan. So now signs on the ex-world champion's face of the work that Watts putting in. Again, that left hand of Watts goes through. And suddenly we see the possibility of a tremendous upset here from Jim Watt. Because Buchanan's done a lot of good work in these early rounds and it hasn't had any effect apart from the cut eye. And if Watt gets confident and feels that he's taken the best and he's still strong and then feels that he's got the harder punch, then he might really go to work. This has been a bad round for Ken, there's no doubt about that. Took a lot of stick in that one, Buchanan. Nose bleeding, and face beginning to look very marked, but his eyes are standing up. Buchanan's suffered a lot from damaged eyes in the past, but he spent money on plastic surgery to get uh, something done about them, and they seem to be standing up. Jim Watt comes out for this one after having had a real lecture from Jim Murray, his manager, who I think senses that he's got on top of Buchanan in that last round. He really wants him to pile it on now. A lot of grease smeared on the brows of Buchanan. From all the signs that were going on in the corner, I got the impression Murray wanted Watt to go in with two hands and really pour it on. And that's just what he told me what would have to do. Well, if Buchanan didn't know it before, he certainly knows it now. He's going to have to work very, very hard indeed to capture this title. No doubt at all that it's Watt who's looking for Buchanan now, not the other way around. Buchanan's done very little in this round. Another good round for Jim Watt, the holder of this British title, and putting up the most sterling defence of it. Survived all the early onslaughts of Buchanan's, come through the cut-eye crisis, and seems to be gaining in confidence with every round. So this is not over yet by a long way. Seems to be a little mark above the left eye of Buchanan. I don't know whether it's trouble.
So once again, Danny Holland keeping that cut under control. And it's fair to say that it hasn't given him any real trouble, hasn't given Watt any trouble at all since it was cut. The grease on the back of Danny Holland's hand to smear over the injury before he comes out to the next one. Buchanan comes up for this eighth round with a slight mark between the top of his nose and his right eyebrow, his left eyebrow. Nothing very serious. So we're coming up to the halfway stage. And Buchanan probably out in front on the early rounds, but what more and more creeping back into it. And no one would say this fight is wrapped up yet. Both men have felt each other's best punches. And it's become a battle of stamina now. It might even be a battle of willpower. awful lot will depend on whether Jim Watt can really believe in himself as beating Buchanan. If he can believe he can beat him, he might well do it. It's just that sort of fight. one and still hard all the way with a lot of punches being exchanged and even in the infighting you see plenty of blows being put in no mauling at all a bitter battle this for the British lightweight title held by Watt and badly wanted by Buchanan And this is a really grueling championship for these two men. I doubt whether Buchanan really came here feeling it was going to be easy because I think he's too good a pro to uh, kid himself like that. But I suspect now that it's become altogether harder than he ever imagined. 27-year-old Ken Buchanan, who until June 1972 was the lightweight champion of the world and now finds himself faced here with a really tough battle to try to win back the British lightweight title. Freddie Hill there working on him with words, this side with the glasses. And on the far side, Tommy Buchanan, Ken's father. Manager Jim Murray, manager of Jim Watt, really trying to stir this young man into the supreme effort that's needed. And now the left eye of Watt is beginning to puff up quite considerably. There's a black mark underneath the left eye of Watt. 
So he's got a bit of trouble there as well as the cut above the right eye. And Buchanan himself looking quite marked around the face, although he's not cut in any way. But both their faces bearing vivid testimony to the doerness, the real bruising struggle that they're having to put up. Some blood on Buchanan's face, and I've got a feeling his left eye's gone, and it has. Buchanan's left eye's gone. That's one he's had trouble with in the past. Very badly damaged in his second fight with Ismael Laguna when he defended the world title in Madison Square Garden. This is the eye that was in so much trouble at the end of that fight. And despite plastic surgery, he's got it again. And this is only the ninth round. And now just as Buchanan did in the early round, so what sees his chance as he spots the blood coming from the eye? trying to come in and every time he tries to come in so what pins him on the end of the right and these two Scots putting on one of the hardest title fight battles we've seen in this country for some time and what a wonderful championship fight this is to come to Scotland Scotland who haven't seen a British championship fight for more than eight years. Oh, they're really getting a good one tonight. <laughs> now we'll see that uh, Freddie Hill this time has got to go to work on Buchanan's left eye. That's the one that uh, was so badly damaged in the fight in Madison Square Garden, the second fight with Ismail Laguna of Panama when Buchanan defended the title and had to fight the last few rounds with that eye in real trouble and came through absolutely magnificently to keep his world title. So both cut now, both badly bruised and both really know they're in a fight. And Watt's right hand now becoming almost a magical weapon as he pokes and prods it into the face of Buchanan. And there's no doubt now in my mind that this title fight at the stage is absolutely in the balance. real professional disaster here staring Buchanan in the face he can't afford to lose this
Cannon not doing very much punching in these rounds. Bobbing and weaving, but not throwing much leather. Watts head this time, rubs into Buchanan's face and Buchanan winces. <laughs> so it looks very much now as though the destiny of this championship is going to rest on what happens in these final few rounds. What, who's done better, I think, than almost anybody, except possibly his own camp, could, could have imagined tonight against Buchanan. And Buchanan, who's got just as bad an injury on his face, still got to work if he wants to take this title away from Watt. third of this championship fight. And they must both know now that it all hangs on the last five rounds. Buchanan out in front early on and what pulling it back and pulling it back as the fight's gone into its second half. strength and determination now will settle this the man who can really come out on top summon all his reserves of strength and willpower now that's the one who'll win such a hard fight all the way with so many punches given and taken that you wonder how much strength the pair of them have left and you feel that if the time has come for one to crack it must surely be very near No let up in the pace. And these two men have proved themselves to be absolutely 
superbly well matched. minutes now must seem like an eternity to these two both the corners have done a fantastically good job on the eyes what's I hasn't bled at all now for many rounds Danny Holland's done the sort of job he used to do on Henry Cooper and Buchanan's eye hasn't given him a lot of trouble since it's split. Freddie Hill's done well there. Of the two, Watt's got more facial damage. His left eye's puffed as well. when either of them has tried to coast. The punching, getting a little ragged, notably from Watt. Look at the way these two are going about it all the time. You'd think this was the first round, not the 12th. Both of them battling for supremacy here in this 12th round. And there isn't a pin to choose between them at the end of it. Remember that this is the first night of the St Andrews Sporting Club and there can't have been a boxing club in history, I wouldn't think, that's opened its doors with such a championship fight as this. Three to go. And they can't surely keep this pace up, can they, for another three? There's a look of intense earnestness now, almost desperation about Buchanan's work as he sees this man still standing in front of him, still poking away with the right hand, still defending his title. And everything that Buchanan's done hasn't been enough to get rid of him. And Buchanan must be very, very worried indeed at the stage. smears of blood now all over Buchanan's face. The better quality punching now coming from what? Yes. 
And now very definitely looming up is the prospect of yet another upset in the world of boxing. Buchanan, the hot favourite to win this, now by no means certain to win it any longer. It's a long time since Buchanan had a good round. leeches himself onto Buchanan to survive this onslaught as Buchanan tries to grind this man down and he can't do it. Buchanan's really poured it on. But the title is still in Watt's grasp. And Buchanan's left eye looks worse than it has for some time. Tremendous effort there put in by Buchanan in the closing seconds of that 13th round. Because he knows that unless he really can get hold of Watt and get him down on the canvas in these last two rounds, he might not win this fight. Two rounds to go in this tremendous British lightweight championship battle in Glasgow. And Buchanan's going all out now for the kill to see if he can get it. only Watt's 18th professional fight. It's Buchanan's 48th. That's the difference of experience between them. And Buchanan's been fighting in world class for several years now. And this is Watt's first fight in world class. But Watt has matched Buchanan all the way. frantic signals from Watt's corner telling him to come forward. Buchanan punishes him inside. Round 14. And Watt takes a deep, deep breath and his eyes are puffed and almost closed. But still he battles away to hold on to this British title. been a real pros comeback here in the last couple of rounds by Buchanan he's dragged something extra out of himself and once or twice he's had what in trouble there really can't be very much in it Every punch now must be an agony for these two. They're so tired. Buchanan's left eyebrow now standing out like a, a red ledge.
tremendous onslaught again from Buchanan at the end of the 14th, just as he did at the end of the 13th. And so we've got three minutes to come now of this supreme British lightweight championship battle. One of the best championship fights in Britain in recent years. There's no question about that. And there can't be very much in it. And it's a great pity that there has to be a loser, if indeed there is, because it has all the makings of being a very fine draw. So here we go, the last round. What? trying to hold on to the title and Buchanan desperate to take it because if he doesn't take it it could well be the end of his world title career no doubt now that Buchanan has come through these last two or three rounds rather stronger than what but what still prodding away with that right hand still the signs from Watts corner come forward come forward and I don't think anybody really imagined that this would have been such a battle few people thought it would go 15 rounds either way and what has really boxed well above himself tonight. He's put up the most magnificent defense of his British title. And he's dragged the very last ounce of strength and talent out of Buchanan. And they're finishing this fight just the way they started it, as indeed they fought it all the way through. Tremendous effort. There's never been a dull moment throughout the fight. And George Smith, the referee, is going to have to decide this. Closing seconds. Two battered men, two very tired men, who put on the fight of their lives here in Glasgow tonight. The bell. So we wait for the decision now. And George Smith waits for them to come apart. And Buchanan has won. Ken Buchanan has won the British title from Jim Watt. And that was a marvellous championship fight. Buchanan has kept himself in the forefront of world contenders, but he's had to pull out the supreme effort to do it. And I don't think there could have been a lot in that. And these six to seven hundred people in the St Andrews Sporting Club in the Albany Hotel Glasgow standing, cheering and clapping these two for what surely has been one of the great championship fights of recent years. Buchanan wins back his old title, makes the Lonsdale belt his own property and will present that belt now to his young son, Mark. And he's done all that work for a purse of about two and a half thousand pounds. The paper sometimes build up a fight more than it should be. And I can honestly say this now. I don't have one bad word against Jim Watt. <laughs> I wanna say I wanna say this. Look. This boy this boy has had 
this boy has had 17 professional fights and to go in the ring with me tonight after having 47, it takes a man to do that and not a boy. And I want to say, I want to, I want to say to Jim what, Jim, whatever you may be, I don't want to hold on to the British title. I may even give it up for a boy like you to continue going yeah, on. But I want to say this, uh, Jim, do an end sequence again. Okay. irrespective of what your manager thinks of right, me, I think you're a great fighter. And I want to help you.